It is a women's bantamweight showdown between Ronda Rousey and Ketlin Vieta. And here is tonight's tale of the tape. So two years, the gap in age, with similar height and the same reach. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the Sold Out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 10 wins, no losses. She stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Manaus, Arizona's Brazil. And now we're producing an opponent fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a judo fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. She stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California, presenting the former UFC women's back and weight champion of the world. All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fight. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. And we are underway. All right, so here's Ketlin Vieta. Another big spot for her here tonight. She got off to a very good start her last time out. Now let's see if Vieta can continue that trend and continue her ascent up the Bantam weight ladder. And the kick lands for her there. Rousey gets in the clinch here early in the fight. No surprise here. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Vieta's got double underhooks now. Oh, oh that's a slam, Joe. And now is where I think looks like she's trying to set up a submission now. It looks like this submission's locked in for her. She escaped the choke. She's working from side control. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying and busy. she is in constant pursuit of these submissions. Throw the leg over the face. Break the grip. That was a deep arm bar, but a beautiful escape. Side control. She gets into full guard here. She's now in half guard again. She's attacking with an arm triangle. She's got that choke tight. This is gonna be it. Wow. She's inside control. Two minutes to go. Pummels and secures double underhooks. Rousey's got the over under now. High clinch for her here. We'll see what she can do with it. 90 seconds to go in the opening round. Battle for position here. Oh, now she's got the tie clinch. Good opportunity to do significant damage here. One underhook here. The eight has got double underhooks. Able to work it into the takedown. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Half guard here. Looking for the neck. Yeah. 
She's got that choke locked in. She's still working this choke. Oh, look at that. Slips right out of it. And she's inside control. Excellent movement here on the ground. Horn sounds for the end of round one. We're not going to let that happen again this way. We have to be smart. Remember all those hours we spent training? Let's see some of the action here. Let's take a look at that again. Let's see it one more time. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. Damaging punch lands for her there. She's been working on her submission, so no surprise there, but a perfect setup on that choke, and I think even better finishing instincts to make sure she sunk it in deep and ultimately forced the tap. High-level stuff there. And one more time, beautiful technique here on this triangle for the victory. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So that win by submission figures to silence any remaining doubters, and that certainly puts the rest of the division on notice. Huge result for her here tonight. We go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 29 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke, Catland Benamino! So the winning ways continue for one of Brazil's best, Ketlin Vieta, getting it done here in the UFC Women's Bantamweight division. And I'm starting to think that this could be a future UFC champion, Joe. She has shown a constant evolution every step of the way in her UFC career. And of course, this result tonight is no different.